hello everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new here you know go ahead drop that sub you know like the video you know all the things you know comment yo thank you guys for 280 subs that shit is crazy it mind blows me every day you guys are just giving me so much support especially on my tutorial videos and i know you know you guys have been waiting on this video a little follow-up video because you guys have been having a lot of issues so that's what we're going to go over in this video we're just going to go over issues that you guys had you know little questions that you guys had all of the above you know and uh also go follow my twitch i just be gaming and everything so you guys can hop in the lobbies with me also join my discord too so if you guys have any issues you know people can help you out i can help you out whenever i'm on you know all the above also follow my instagram man follow my instagram you know catch up in my daily life you know do all that so first of all once you guys download your template <laughs> You guys are gonna have all your backgrounds, you know, all my pre-made ones that I made for you guys. So basically, you know, choose whatever background you want and just delete it out of here. And then also you can either, you can also delete it in the solids too, whatever it's named. And then you guys were having issues with, you know, your background shaking, I guess, with your uh the S underscore shake. And the way to go about that is you probably most likely you'd have to set a blending mode on the background so you'd have to put uh the adjustment layer you know above your thing and then you'd have to put your background up here and then you just set that the screen i'm pretty sure and it would let me see if that works actually yeah no that won't even work i guess i would just I don't know what to say about that one then. I don't think there's a way to go around it. If you guys know, I don't think there's a way to go around that. I guess just turn the settings down on the S1 or short shake so it doesn't look so noticeable on the background. But I mean, I use a different different style now. So I use sound keys now instead of using the audio amplitude. So it's a whole lot easier. It's by trap code. You have to pay for it, sadly. I would give it out, but I can't. Um, also, I have one dude comment. He said, How do you do a black saber effect? Like in the video, like in this one video he sent. And the way you do that is you just create a white background comp. You got a solid, and then you just make it, you make it white. It don't matter. And then when you add your saber on there, you're gonna, you know, select whatever one you want. Choose black, it don't matter. And then go to render settings, obviously transparent, and it's going to be not noticeable, right? And then you're going to go to color correction and go to hue saturation and just bring the lightness down. And that's how you make the black saber. So if you guys want, you know, to do that, I'll be eventually doing something like that. We'll see, though. Um, so that's the black saber effect little style. Um, let's see here. Yeah, after you get all that in, literally, yeah, I don't even know. I think that was like the main issue you guys had, so I guess I just make this video real quick too. This one will be releasing today. Alright, so let me drag that in here. The way I, reason why I love sound keys so much is like, you could just literally go in here and it's not going to pop up, are you? let's see pull that up and literally all you do is just select right there so i selected my mp3 and then all i have to do is just click apply and then it'll create the whole keys because you could choose the frequency i'll show you guys so if you have trap code this is how i do it it has like a frequency range right here so when the beat is playing it has a frequency range so that's the only that's like what it will hit on like whatever it'll react to it this way is like so much smoother because i know a lot of you guys are saying that your png is like so stiff going with it and like the only way around it and like audio amplitude is pressing f9 on your keyboard while your notes are selected which i think i'm pretty sure i did it over in that video it just smooths it out as much as possible but this way is like a whole lot smoother so if you guys can get trap code get trap code and i'll just go over settings on that and like i said you just click apply and then it's all like that and then so let me delete that 
background's still on screen, I believe. Is it? Uh, hello? Oh, yeah. There we go. So then, there's that. Let me see how it's bouncing with it. I'm going to keep this one basic. I'm not going to add Saber at all. Also, an easier way to, you know, have your images look a little bit better. Um, the way I do it now for Saber is when I delete the background or whatever on the image, I will create a new thing with 19, 1920 by 1080, whatever my video is going to be in. You create that, and then you just drag your image over in the center of this, save that as a PNG. And then that way, you know, you could just copy your image and then put Saber on that image after you tra it'll trace it first and then copy the, uh, the tracer. So basically just do this, go here, go layer, auto trace, and then it's going to trace it. And then control A, control C, and then you go here, go there. Saber, and I'll do like, yeah, we'll just do burning, and then we'll go to render settings, transparent, control V, and then we'll customize core, layer masks, and it's a whole lot easier. Like, it's so much better looking when you do it like that. This way, here, like, because I know in the past for me the saber would like cut off. So it was like in a little box, like the size of the PNG that you do have. And it would just look disgusting because it would just like cut off and you could see the the box from the glow and all that. So that's what I do now. And then I also use Twitch now. I don't use S underscore shake. So I'll just go through my settings on those. So let's delete that. Go to the Twitch settings. So I have those linked. So basically, you know, I have that. It's basically just linked to my sound keys. So it just hits on whatever that is. And then my Twitch 2. Both linked. And this just divides the value by 2.5. Um, my actual scaling on my... This is the settings that I used. And shout out to the maker. Uh, let me pull them up real quick. I'll leave them in the YouTube description. He makes all the videos for Lester. I don't know if you know who Lester is, but he, uh, he gave me all these settings or whatever. Helped me a lot. Where's he at? Oh, Adonis Beats. Yeah, so... Go follow him on Instagram and YouTube. I'll leave I'll leave them in the description. But he basically gave me these settings and all that. So shout out to him. Um, and then he also helped me with like backgrounds and stuff. So yeah, I use trap code particular, and then I use you know I just mess around with a lot of settings. Oh my. Um, if you guys want, I'll create another template, and I'll just eventually upload it the description on uh on this video so that's basically it guys i don't know if you guys oh also you guys were also asking about my settings so i'll go ahead and pull up um media encoder for you guys because you guys were asking about my settings it also depends on your computer your computer is really like the biggest thing like your processor and your graphics card but mine typically renders in between like below two hours. Like it's always below. It just depends on the effects you do. Also try and like minimize on comps, you know, compilations and stuff. You don't want to do too many of that because it takes even longer. But um, let's go to my, I know I got settings in here somewhere. I'll just, um. I'll just render this out real quick. I'm not going to like fully render, but I'll pull up in there.
All right, so I just created the preset for it. So 1920 by 1080, obviously 60 frames per second. Hardware encoding. You always want hardware encoding. It always goes so much faster depending on your graphics card. Uh, high level 5.1. And then I just got VBR one pass 14. Sometimes I up it more depending. You want to up it more depending on how much stuff is actually going on. So if there's not a lot of stuff going on, you'll be fine with 14 because YouTube is like in between like 14 to 20 for 1080p 60 FPS. That's what it'll like compress to anyway. So I just typically go and the more you up it, the bigger the file size is going to be. So I just leave it at 14. That's 343. And then that's basically it for that. I don't do anything else besides my audio being 320 kilobytes per second. And that's it. That's literally my settings. And it renders pretty quick. Um, let's see what else I could go over for you guys. Um, let me pull up some more comments. I guess that's basically it. I couldn't find any more comments. I basically went over everything. If you guys have any more questions, like I said, join my Discord. You know, follow me on Instagram. You can hit me up on Instagram. Um, also, if you guys don't have the best computer, I can either make you a video, which go to my store. Link is in the description as well. Uh, it's $10. I'll make a video, and I'll make the video for you, render it out, and then I'll just send it to you um just all i ask is you know put credits in the description that's it um also if you guys want any template on my youtube channel like any video ever you can dm me on instagram for that or you can go to my store purchase it through there too and those are ten dollars for the templates and all that like just different background styles and all that so if you guys want that you can do that um that's basically it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i helped some of you guys i don't know if i got every bit of the questions so if you guys have any more questions like i said join my discord and i'll be happy to help you guys uh get this video to a 200 likes and i'll drop i'll keep dropping some more tutorials i'm sorry it took so long for this video that's basically it you guys are amazing bless up see you guys in the next video